I get it. I get it. These videos, the box thing is kind of annoying. I get it. You know, but the show has to continue. I just can't like upload muted videos. It just makes no sense. I can't just be like, yo, let's just upload this and see what everybody's going to watch for like no reaction. They're going to be like, whoa, there's like no audio in here. But regardless, anyway, this is the last one of this bunch. Promise it won't ever happen again. But with that being said, of course, my name is Tim with Vengeance and I'm wearing glasses. But if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe. Maybe you'll uh, see more videos that aren't full of boxes that are about half the screen. But on to recruiting here. Today we're taking on uh, Syracuse, who is uh, doing really well this year. They're 3-1. and one. And I think they I, – I can't remember their ranking. I didn't wasn't paying attention to that. But I think they're like number 17, which is pretty respectable. Uh even the real life Syracuse, man, they're up there this year. Um, I think they're like number, I think they're like number thirteen. So Syracuse is on the up and up, which is good. You know, they they haven't been good in a while. They're always they've always been like me growing up. They've always been kind of mediocre or or below average. Seeing them play this good is actually kind of like a nice nice uh, change of scenery. But on to recruiting here, uh, we're looking like we're gonna get a couple of guys here. Uh, week six visit here for. Leroy Burton and uh, Dwight Watkins, but as as um, as you guys have been noticing as well, um, you guys have been picking it up in the comment section as you guys should. Um, you guys have been like, man, these are all blowouts, and you guys are right. You know, uh, absolutely one hundred thousand percent, one hundred thousand percent correct on that. Um, so as it stands, I mean. Have we done everything we could in this dynasty? Absolutely. We've turned this team into a mad powerhouse. And I know I said I wanted to do as many years as possible in this dynasty. But I mean, I'm not I don't want to bore you guys. That's not my that's not my goal. My goal is to entertain. My goal is to um complete the journey, which I feel like I have done already. There's been a lot of accomplishments in this dynasty, so much so where I I've literally ran out of trophy space in my collection. So <laughs> you can only imagine like how much is actually going through. So um, I'm not saying that this dynasty is going to end, but it very well could. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't made my decision on that yet. Um, I have thought of other ideas. If you guys are paying attention to my discord page, uh, by the way, if you haven't checked discord out, uh, make sure you guys do that. Like I, I know I'm not very active on discord, but it's always a good place to like, get notified of when I like some behind the scenes stuff where I'm on to like new ideas or have, you know, discussions about sports and stuff like that. Like what's relevant in college football or whatever's going on in, in the world of sports. Um, but I have thrown around the idea of, you know, completely doing a revamp of, you know, a new dynasty. I've, I've tossed that idea around, um, and the same thing goes for East Carolina too. I'm not sure if I want to continue that or not because it's head. It looks like it's heading in that same direction as UAB is, where I'm turning into just a powerhouse in such a short amount of time. And I feel like part of that problem is is that I've become. I pretty much know this game like the back of my hand. Yeah, I still lose in East Carolina, but very rarely do I lose. So it's like, I I, I don't know what to tell you. So I mean, we'll see, but. Uh, enough about that subject there. I know we've talked. I know we discussed a lot, and I know I may have hit you with a lot, but I figured it had to be said uh, just to make sure that like you aren't being left in the dark, and I'm not, uh, and I want to be 100% transparent with you guys and all that stuff. But look at this top 25. It's pretty interesting. Um, California is still number seven, even though I still think they're overrated. I mean, three and one is still pretty good, but look at that overall. It's kind of disgusting. Um, yeah, I don't know how that's possible. I just don't know how they can be ranked that high. So actually Syracuse is number 10. Actually, I misspoke. Um, that's really good actually. Um, and it's at home too. It's at, it's at Birmingham today. So I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Texas at number 11, Oklahoma for or number 13, Texas, number 14, Oklahoma, as they barely slipped by Iowa state, uh, air force dropped all the way to 16, 
Um, they've taken a couple bad losses now to San Diego State and us. So they've they've got a mountain to climb a little bit to try and get themselves back up to some relevance. Uh, if they continue to lose, they could lose some status. Illinois at number 17. Fresno State at 18. Georgia State at 19. Uh, Nebraska at 20. Florida State 21. Auburn 22. 23 is South Carolina. Uh, number 24 oh, is Oregon. And they're yeah, they've taken a couple bad losses. But they're they're still hanging around. I think they were a top 15 team when they first started. So, uh, you know, another bad loss, and they could see themselves out. And then Virginia at number 25. Uh, Stanford, Notre Dame, and Ole Miss dropped out of the top 25. Uh, but Stanford and Notre Dame still hanging around with receiving votes. So that's not the end of the world for them. Um, as far as the Heisman watch is concerned, uh, Jay Harris and Brad Evans, both in the top two for the Heisman race. See, this is why I, I guess what you guys are referring to as far as, you know, the dominance of this dynasty. Uh, considering that, you know, where we have started compared to where we are now, Brad, we have two Heisman contenders. Two. I don't think I've ever done that. And, it, and just to do it with both a running back and a quarterback, it shows how dynamic the offense is. Um and like I said, my goal is to entertain, and I feel like with these games lately, you guys have brought up a great point, and I, I really should consider uh, doing something with this. I'm not going to just make UAB terrible all of a sudden. I'm not going to do that. I've, put, I've invested too much time into it. So we're underway here from Birmingham as Ingram's going to receive the kickoff, but Syracuse came to play today as they had some pretty good kickoff coverage, and I only got to the 13-yard line as Ingram – is looking like he uh, he doesn't look too happy with that play. So here is Jay Harris dropping back the first play of the game. He's going to get it off to Derek Henderson for a gain of 17 yards. So the offense, you know, digs himself out of the hole that you know, they were put in. So that's okay. But on the very next play, it's Todd Thomas who splits the defense. He's going to take it to the house, and it's 7 nothing early. So two plays, 87 yards. And a score, so that was quick. Todd Thomas has getaway speed, so I'm, I'm already happy with the score. So let's see what Syracuse can do to try and get themselves on the board, try and get themselves back in this ballgame, because this is a top-10 matchup. You kind of expect Syracuse to come off swinging. Uh, they do here on this first play. They get a first down, but later on it's third and 10, so they're in a bit of a spot here with this shotgun formation. And you know I'm trying to look for that screen pass, but they don't do it this time. Lambert looks over the middle to Joseph, and Joseph gets to the 45-yard line in UAB territory. But later on, it's first and 10 again. Lambert drops back, and it's going to be intercepted by Henry Harrington, as that is a very quick pass that ended up biting him in the butt, as uh, that coverage was really tight. That's a tough window to throw into for any quarterback, really. I don't know what they were thinking, but they got away with it. I don't know what they're thinking. So Harris on second and eight. He sees something downfield. It's caught by Derek Henderson, and it's a 27-yard gain for the Blazers. So second and one for UAB. They're going to run it up the gut to Brett Evans, and he gets just enough for the first down as it's you know just a two-yard gain. But you know what? That's okay. That's totally fine. Third down and five. We're going to try and run the read option. I usually don't like running on third and medium, but with the type of offense that this team has, I feel like it's – we can get away with it, so not a big deal. But later on, very next play, first and ten, they're going to try and blitz their safety. I can see it right there, but I'm going to call it out, and I anticipate it. Todd Thomas is in the end zone again for the second time today, and it's 14 nothing just in the first quarter. So third down and ten here for Syracuse. They're going to draw a draw play, which is not fooling uh, anybody on the defense. They came right back, and they swarmed to the ball as it's going to be 4th and 5. So we get the ball back with about a minute and a half here to go in the first quarter. Sears in motion to the right. They're going to hand it off to Brett Evans, and he's going to get just enough again for that first down. Gets a gain of 8, and um, he's not doing too bad. 6 carries, 25 yards. Couldn't ask for, you know, you know I can't complain about his play so far. Uh, he's doing just enough to get the job done. So we're going to go over the middle here to Evan Thornton, and he gets a gain of, I think, about... 15-16, he gets a first down. So second and four here. Harris dropping back underneath to the left side. It is Derek Henderson, and he is going to truck his way into the end zone for a 28-yard touchdown. Six for six, 181, three touchdown passes in the first quarter for Jay Harris. 
That's unbelievable. Lambert looking over to the right side. It's caught by Paris. And Paris gets a first down to the 44-yard line for a gain of 17. So later on, the second and four, as we begin the second quarter here, Syracuse in the shotgun as they're going to drop back with Lambert looking underneath. It's caught by Coleman, and he's not going to get enough for that first down. Uh, so later on, third and 14, I think that was after a, uh, a, a false start or something or a couple holds. But they're going to do a screen pass, and it's going to be in, in the hands of Jeremy pa uh, Jeremy Patterson. And it's going to be incomplete. So Marcus Lambert just not doing that well. Uh, second or Third down and six here. Here's Harris dropping back again over the middle to Evan Thornton to pass the 40 to the 42-yard line and a pickup of 19 yards. Third down and one. Eye formation for the Blazers as they're going to run it straight up the middle with Brett Evans. And he gets just enough of that first down and gain a three as uh, the Blazers keep doing things on offense that just, you know, they're wearing down that Syracuse defense. They really are. So Harris dropping back again over the middle on that post route to Thomas. He's been wide open on that all day. He has been open three catches, 109 yards, and two touchdowns. Just an outstanding day for the the first. Well, I, I, this is his first year playing. He's not a starter, but he's this is his first year of uh, seeing action. But he gets another catcher. He's been a big part of this offense today, Mr. Todd Thomas. Second and goal here. For the Blazers, we're going to hand it off to Brett. And he's going to power his way into the end zone for a UAB touchdown. It's going to be 28 to nothing. And here come the uh, Syracuse Orange again. They're falling a little bit behind here. As Lambert looks over the middle to Coleman. And Coleman gets another first down. Gain of 11. And uh, Coleman has been uh, he's been fairly you know common in the Syracuse offense today. But another screen pass attempt here. And this one's going to be intercepted. As uh, you can't do that against me. You just you, you just can't. You know. I don't know what they. I, I think part of it is the play calling, and uh, you know, that's probably the reason why I keep winning all these games because I anticipate plays, and I know which plays some teams are going to run on certain plays. So I mean that that may be a part of why I'm you know doing so well. So. Henderson down inside the five-yard line with another spectacular grab on the run. So third and goal here for the Blazers. As can we punch this one? I, I think you know the answer to this one, guys. I mean, come on. It's Trey Birch. He, he's going to get in the end zone. He's a big dude. Touchdown, Blazers. It's 35 to zip. I mean, what else, what more could you want? Later on, uh, let's see what Syracuse could do. They got to get on the board, man. They're getting, they're getting goose egged right now. Off to Coleman, he gets another catch, and that's going to be a timeout for Syracuse. As uh, third down and eight here now, they're going to, oh man, they're running another screen pass. That's not something you should do. As they don't learn their lesson, as Chaz Wallace is too fast and too furious, and he's going to score a touchdown. So that's going to be 42 to nothing. I think we scored three touchdowns in the last two minutes of the first half. That's crazy. That's what happens when you run a bunch of screen passes. Lambert again looking underneath on third and 12. He's not throwing it much past the line of scrimmage, and I feel like that's a lot of the play calling issues that um, we run into. I mean, yes, my defense is that good, and they can cover just about anyone. So I'm not even too worried about that. So sec second and one here. Here's Evans getting enough for that first down, gain of four, and we're going to move the sticks. 16 carries, 66 yards. Not a big day so far. They've been doing pretty well at stopping uh, number five, but... I mean, not enough to make me like, oh, he's having a bad day. He's not having a bad day. Harris is just having a better day as he completes another pass to Todd Thomas. 14 for 16 and just having a baller day. So third and 10, Harris scrambling to his right. And that one's almost intercepted as uh, that was just a bad pass right there. That was a bad read. I tried to get it over the top, but it didn't happen. But we're going to try for a long field goal attempt from uh, 47 yards away. And that one is good. So it's 52 to nothing as the kicker gets some action. Usually that's something we don't usually see in, in this. But that's okay. Lambert off running. And he's going to get himself a fumble as that is going to be UAB football. And uh, that is just a bad turnover there for the Blaze, or for the Syracuse Orange. So third and 11 here. Here's Harris dropping back. Looks right side. And it's going to be incomplete as what? We're punting. What? That's something I never see. 14 for 18, though. He's missed his last two passes, though. That's kind of strange. 
So first and ten for Syracuse. Can they get on the board? That's the real. Oh no, I, I take that back. So Harrington with the inter another interception, as that's six turnovers here for the Orange. They have just not been good. They have not been sharp. I don't know what it is. The crowd must be getting to them. I have no idea. So off to Evans. He's going to bounce it to the outside on the right. And he's going to not get in the end zone as he's down at like the one inch line. So later on, it's first and goal. Very next play. You know, the rest of the story, right? Right? Well, not maybe not maybe not happening that way. But Jay Harris, he's going to take himself for a zero yard touchdown. So third down and 10 here at about midfield. So let's see what Syracuse, Syracuse, you gotta show me something, man. You gotta just, nope, you're not gonna show me anything. As uh, they're gonna try a screen pass, but this time he's gonna just eat the ball, which is, I highly recommend. If you're gonna run a screen pass against me, you better just eat the ball, honestly. Or else you're, sometimes they make it lucky and they may get a completion and get a big gain, but it hardly ever happens. But Joe Ingram, gain of 31 on that play. And uh, later on, third and five. We're still passing the ball, I know. We're. We're kind of just like showing off our statistics, showing off our guns. Um, but I actually almost ate, I, I ate, ate dirt on that one. I uh, did not see that safety coming up. And Brett Evans is actually going to make the tackle at about the 23-yard line. So I ate dirt on that one. I, I'm okay with that, though. I mean, that's what happens when I get a little overzealous. And I, I shouldn't be. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to set records with this offense. And that's pretty much what I'm here for is just to set records. Um, so another sack by the Blazers on that fourth down play, but here comes Harris. He's not going to get, he's not going to get rattled by this at all. And he's going to get himself a touchdown. It's going to be 66 to nothing as, uh, Syracuse just could not get anything going at all. Uh, Jay Harris, 21 for 28, five total TDs, 416 yards passing 42 rushing yards, just an outstanding, outstanding game for the Blazers as we just, continuously pound our opponents to the ground and like i said i know you guys are getting like a little tired of seeing the blowouts but we're gonna try and uh i, I guess you know the best course of action here would be look at better alternative routes but we'll look at all possible avenues and we'll try and correct the situation here and try and Make sure that you guys are entertained. I'm having fun at the same time as well. Because I know I've been having fun with this dynasty. But um, I know that you guys are getting tired of the blowouts. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.